It is Throwback Thursday once again where I kind of talk about an older film and discuss some cool facts about the movie and today's uh, title I picked out I'm really excited for because it's one of my favorite movies of all time and that's Goldfinger. This is um, my favorite James Bond movie. I have the 50th anniversary uh, Goldfinger version. Uh, I'm not going to open it but this is my favorite James Bond movie like I said. Um, it was, it's been my j favorite James Bond movie um, ever since I've seen it. Um, when I was really, when I was younger, I watched all of them, and out of all of them, Goldfinger was my favorite. And still stands as my favorite James Bond movie. Um, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about some facts about James Bond. Uh, Goldfinger here. Um, when he was filming, when John Connery was filming this movie, he uh, hurt his back during a fight scene with Oddjob when they were in Fort Knox. Um, the incident delayed uh, the filming, and some say that Connery. Um, used the injury to get a better deal out of the producers for the next uh, 007 film. You know, I've watched a lot of interviews with um, about Sean Connery and documentaries about James Bond, and he it seemed really seemed like he was a dick. So um, that wasn't surprising to me. Um, this was the first appearance of a laser beam in a movie. They originally wanted to use, um, you know, in the scene where he's uh, strapped down and the laser beams coming at him. They originally wanted to do um, a spinning buzzsaw, but they decided to use the laser beam instead. This was the debut of the Ashton Martin. Man, I would kill for an Ashton Martin. The vehicle is so cool. I mean, that's why I got this cover. Um, you know, it's him kind of on the side there is the Ashton Martin just leaning up against it. So cool. Um, after this movie, um, and it was named the most pop, most famous car in the world. Sales of Aston Martin DB5 increased by 50% after the release of this movie. That is crazy. Um, for a long time, this was tied with Dr. No as, as the shortest Bond movie um, in the EON Productions official series, but um, with a running time of 110 minutes. But uh, Quantum of Solace is now the shortest movie. This is the only Sean Connery Bond film that doesn't end on water in a raft, boat, or ship. Um, I forgot how this ends, but obviously it does not end in the water. Um, I thought that was pretty funny. Another thing I was, thought was pretty funny is um, some of Pussy Galore's all-woman flying circus were actually played by men wearing um, blonde wigs. I had a small chuckle when I read that. Um, Steven Spielberg cites this as one of his personal favorite Bond films and even owns an Ashton Martin DB5 um, due to the impact Goldfinger had on him. Um, this movie was actually the fastest growing picture in film history and um, when it was released and even entered the Guinness World Book of Records to mark this that was pretty cool. And then um, Goldfinger wears yellow or gold items of clothing in virtually every single um, scene. The only one that he didn't was when he um, was wearing a US, USA or US Army Colonel's uniform, but he still carried a golden revolver. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. You know, I like the take on um, Austin Powers' gold member. He's like, I love gold. Um, it was at that point when I first saw Austin Powers. Um, after that point, when after I watched the gold Austin Powers series, then I went back and watched all the James Bond movies. I, just, I noticed all these similarities and I just loved it. Um, I sat down and watched like all the James Bond movies in a row. And like I said, this stands as my favorite James Bond movie. So comment down below and tell me what your favorite James Bond movie is. A lot of people pick Skyfall now, but um, this, my top four favorite James Bond movies would be this, followed by Dr. No, um, Casino Royale, and then Skyfall. Something about the old, because the old um, Sean Connery movies are great. Um, I've told the story before, but for my new view, my new subscribers and, um, um, yeah, my new viewers and subscribers, when AMC released um, Dr. No, in th re, re, re released it in theaters back in September of last year as a special 50th anniversary of um, Bond, AMC theaters were giving away um, 
the Bond Blu-ray box set the day before it was released. And the theater I went to was like 45 minutes away. I just had to go see it. I went with my girlfriend's dad and me, he took me up there and I just had to go see it. I would have gone to see it by myself. There were probably about like 16, 18 people in the theater. And I was like, oh, hopefully I'm going to win this box set. And what they did is um, they stuck tickets underneath um, 10 random seats. And there was like 400 seats in this theater. Um, so they, they said, okay, well, there's 10 random tickets underneath um, 10 random seats. And so check underneath your seat if you have one. I checked underneath mine. I was like, ah, oh, fuck, I don't have one. I was like disappointed. I'm like, okay, we'll start checking other seats. So I put my hand to the right, grabbed a ticket, and it was ticket number one. I was like, oh my god, am I gonna win? Am I gonna win? And then they're like, okay, now we're gonna draw a random ticket and the winner. So they ended up drawing number one, and I won the Blu-ray, the Bond 50 Blu-ray set um, the day before it was released, and I didn't have to pay for anything. So I was very happy there. And then I won it off of YouTube, off of Marco the Movie Fan. So I had, I have two of them. Yes. And I have all the old DVDs and VHSs and stuff. So this is Just Watches Movies with a pretty long, probably, um, Throwback Thursday for Goldfinger. Um, my all-time favorite James Bond film. So comment down below and tell me your favorite Bond film is. So, hope everybody checks this uh, Throwback Thursday out as I don't generate a lot of views. But uh, everybody who does, thank you very much for checking this out. And this is Justin Watching Movies, and I'll see you all later. Bye.